show you how to use the ITC's data web to get very detailed information about U.S. Uh, goods trade. So it doesn't include anything about uh, services or, or investment flows, but it's incredibly good for getting detailed information about uh, goods. So you see over here in the left side that we've got imports for consumption, domestic imports, so on and so forth. You can uh, click on this question mark here to get uh, detailed information. But essentially, most of the time, you might would be interested in getting imports for consumption or domestic exports. These have to do with trade that actually is either coming into the United States to consume or the products that are being exported from the United States. For example, total exports would include uh, products that are re-exported, uh, products that may be just temporarily in the United States. You also get the uh, trade balance. Now you see over here that we've got uh, various advanced searching modes for different categories in the, in the U.S. Uh, information system the harmonized tariff system code, which is similar to what is used uh, across the world by uh, WTO members. But for most instances, in most uh, uh, queries, this uh, quick query is going to be uh, the way to go. You also notice that you've got current U.S. trade from 1996 to 2013, 1989 to 1995. There's a slight change in the classification system in 1996 so that you need to be careful about comparing uh, those two time periods. So we will proceed with the query. Uh, this is imports for consumption so we have uh, various types of, of things that you might want to get information on. Customs value is probably a more common thing to do so we'll uh, use that example. We've got the years to select so you go back to 1996 for the, uh, for the current data. Uh, we can use uh, these various schemes to uh, get a specific commodity from a, a, uh, coming in to the United States from a, from a country. And so let's, let's say, for example, we'll use HS category 84. The reasons for that I will uh, make a note in, in a little bit. Select a country. We've got uh, either all countries. We can have various uh, predefined groups, AGOA, the, uh, the EU, uh, GSP countries, or at the very bottom, individual uh, countries. So let's, uh, let's take Belgium. For example, got these uh, special import programs, which are, is an unusual query, so I won't um, go into that. Uh, and then we've got the d data presentation. I would strongly suggest that you use actual because that will let you know exactly what you're looking at. If it um, you could adjust the scale a little bit later, but if you get the actual values, you'll, you'll know exactly what you're dealing with. Get the timeline for the reports, annual, uh, quarterly, monthly, whatever. Um, so in this case, when we're choosing category 84, the ag aggregation level is not going to be relevant. We also have the uh, aggregate all countries together. Again, that's not going to be relevant uh, with uh, this particular case with, uh, with Belgium. In fact, let's, let's do all countries. <coughs> Excuse me. So we will uh, look at all countries for this uh, product category. Uh, I would also recommend that you display commodity description because that way you'll have a sense of what uh, product that you're actually looking at and we'll display all countries separately. Proceed to next step which will take a, a moment. I will tell you that if you're doing this in the middle of the workday it can sometimes be quite uh, quite slow. 
You can show all records, that is to say all countries or all particular uh, things that you're uh, looking at, or just the top 15 in terms of value. Uh, we will have the, um, these various other um, potential changes in what you display. Now let's not worry about that. And now we'll export this directly to an Excel file. Uh, that way you'll, you'll be able to uh, capture this information directly rather than downloading it as, as a file, which is a, a bit more complicated. And we will run the report. Now it's going to prompt you uh, to open the um, Excel. And what we have here is a number of countries from the highest to lowest. And uh, for these two years, actual dollars, again, so you can adjust that. So, uh, so we'll take a look at this category. This is HS category 84. And you'll notice here it says nuclear reactors. Now, sometimes people will see that and think, oh, we are importing nuclear reactors into the United States from China. Well, that's not exactly right. This is nuclear reactors, boilers, machinery, and mechanical appliances. So it's a, it's a broad uh, category. And so to give you one hint, let's look at foreigntrade.com. And this site, foreigntrade.com, allows you to search um, the HS categories, other categories as well. So let's look at harmonized system code, machinery and electrical. So this category 84 has a lot of different things here. So don't get confused about the first words in the, the listing. And we can also take a look at more detailed uh, information. We got some ads there that I was not interested in. And so these are six-digit HS codes. These six-digit HS codes will be comparable across different countries. So self-propelled -propel bulldozers and angle dozers, truck track laying, uh, this category right here would be the same if you looked in another country, uh, in another country's uh, data. So that is a way to get some detailed information about a particular category of uh, products in the United States. Now, we can also look at this from a much more detailed level. And so let's take a look at that category. So let's back up. We'll do this again for uh, imports for consumption. And now we're going to use the particular six-digit HS code. Everything else will be the same. We will display the commodity description. We'll display all countries separately. Everything the same. Report it directly to Excel. And what we will have is a more detailed product category for individual countries. So this is a very useful tool to get this uh, granular level of data. If you want to take a look at uh, broader categories of, uh, of products, say total U.S. exports to Japan, uh, there are other sources that are a little bit easier to use. But the ITC's data web is extremely helpful. Again, you can get detailed export information, detailed import information, and trade balances uh, by product. And I, would, again, would recommend that you try and use this, especially for big queries, um, 
outside of the regular uh, working day in Washington because lots of people are using this.